Hi, this is Josh from MYOB. This video is an introduction to setting up and using the MYOB Advanced Web Services API. MYOB Advanced provides programmatic access to your organization's information using simple, powerful, and secure application programming interfaces. The MYOB Advanced Web Services API provides a fast, reliable, and convenient way of exposing business functionality and data managed by an MYOB Advanced application for integration with any external business and operation support system. The MYOB Advanced API is based on web service standards such as SOAP and WSDL and can be accessed with almost any current programming environment or integration tool. By using the development environment you're familiar with, you can easily create a client application that accesses the MYOB Advanced Studio application through standard web services protocols. Every operation that uses the MYOB Advanced API is executed through the same business logic layer as the user interface. This ensures functionality and database integrity of the application, regardless of the way it was accessed. All the functionality of the application is available through the Web Services API. This includes web pages for data entry, setup, maintenance, processing, generic inquiries, and even reports. However, the functionality and information that will be exposed and available to the Web Services client depends on the access rights granted to the user logged in to the MYOB Advanced instance. The MYOB Advanced API is a fast, reliable, and convenient way to perform operations such as data migration and data import, data query and extraction of information for reporting, application integration with external systems, creating, updating and deleting objects in the MYOB Advanced application, execution of long-running operations, and administrative tasks. MYOB Advanced automatically generates a WSDL file describing the operations and an XML description of parameters and objects for web pages. You can set up and access this file through the Web Services form in the Integration module under System. Here we are on the Web Services form. To create a WSDL file for one or more forms, first we click Add New Record on the toolbar, and then enter a service ID. Next, to add individual forms, we click the Add Row button on the table here, and choose the screen ID. For this example, we'll choose the Stock Items screen. You can repeat this step for each web page that you want to add to the WSDL file. We'll just stick with one for this example. The next step is to click Generate on the toolbar to start the process of generating the WSDL file. Once the process is complete, you'll be able to see green flags like this in the leftmost column for each table row. You can then click View Generated to open a new window with the list of operations that are supported by the MYOB Advanced Web Services API. On this screen, you can see the Web Services URL. This is used to add reference to the WSDL file of Web Services when importing it to the development environment to generate proxy classes. Programming languages supported by Microsoft Visual Studio.net can access the Web Services API through the proxy classes created by using the WSDL description for corresponding server-side objects. Here's the stock items form. We can view the Web Service commands available for it by clicking on Web Service in the Forms Help menu. This brings up a list of operations supported on the form. Some operations might be bound with specific forms because these operations support the particular structure of that form. You can click on any example to see the SOAP client requests and HTTP server responses that can be implemented by using that operation. Clicking on Get Schema brings up a list of commands available for that specific form. Each area on the stock items form is mapped to properties in this object. So here we can see actions which appear on the toolbar. We can see the actions available in the Stock Item Summary section, the General Settings Item Default section, and so on. Since the API simulates the UI behavior of the app, you can test the scenario of creating a new stock item in the application to get information on what fields are required and what steps are involved. You can see here that when creating a new stock item, the only fields that require user input are Inventory ID, and tax category, these are the only ones that require input and don't specify a default. The API code would then configure commands to simulate what's done in the UI, as in the code sample you can see here. Here, get schema has been used to retrieve the schema for the web page. A set of commands have been created to supply values for inventory ID and tax category, and the last command is calling the save action on the web page. The submit function is then used to submit the commands to the web page. The submit command allows importing and exporting data simultaneously in the form of commands coupled with values. 
The Web Service API is dynamically generated from the application data access and business logic layers and customized metadata. This means that if any customization of the data access layer or the business logic layer is made, it will be reflected with the Web Service API as well. The WSDL file automatically generated by the system includes all the changes implemented to the application logic and its database structure through the customization. So here we are on the stock item screen again where we've now added two extra fields with a customization. Now if I view the web service from the help menu and go to the get schema, if we scroll down you can see that even these extra fields are included in the schema as well. That concludes this video demonstration. We've seen that the MYOB Advanced Web Services API, which is based on SOAP and WSDL standards, provides programmable access to the same application logic as available through the UI. It enables you to create custom configured interfaces to integrate with external systems. For detailed information on generating a WSDL file and importing it into a development environment, as well as various Web Services API objects and code samples, refer to the guide MYOB Advanced Using the API. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn new smart ways to grow your business. You can also check out our blog and follow us on Twitter to learn more and stay up to date. Thanks for watching and see you next time.